welcome back to the potting shed. Today I need to repot my spider plant. As you can see, it's not looking the best at the moment. It's looking a little bit pale and anemic. And I checked the soil. It's feeling very dry and very uh, compacted. So I think we probably need to replace the soil. I quite like it in this hanging basket. So if I can, I'd like it to keep it in there and maybe just replace the soil with something fresh. It's been in there for two years now, I think was the last video I made on this, uh, on this plant, putting it in this uh, hanging basket. And it looks really good in the kitchen. So that's what I'm going to do. Have a look really, see what the roots look like. Uh, the spider plants actually don't mind being a little bit root bound. Uh, it's not something that's an issue for this type of plant. So if you've got one and it's been in, in the same pot for a while, it's not necessarily a big issue. Um, if it is not happy and there's something wrong, then it's always worth taking a look and just checking what the situation is. Now, a quick care guide before we get started. These spider plants are one of the easiest plants to look after. They are very tolerant. They will put up with being overwatered, underwatered, uh, forgotten about, not fed, um, lots of light, little light. They really are very, very rugged plants. Now, obviously, if you want a healthy, happy looking plant, um, you want to try and hit those ideal conditions. But they are a good plant for beginners and I still think they're lovely looking plants. I always enjoy having them around. So ideally a bright indirect location is best. Give them some uh, bright light and they will be happiest in those sorts of conditions. They will get leaf scorch if they get too much direct sun. So try not to put it on the windowsill of uh, a window that gets direct sun in there because it will dry up and crisp up very quickly in those conditions. But otherwise, nice bright location, water it regularly. Let it dry out a little bit and then give it some more water. The general sort of watering guidelines, I would say. Now, if you're a busy person and you forget for a couple of days, it's gonna be fine, it's not a problem. And let me think, uh, fertilizing, pretty uh, standard as well. They don't need a huge amount. Uh, maybe once a month in the growing season from spring to autumn or fall and that's all it needs not a huge amount of care now what i like to do in t talking about fertilizer is just add something like this incredible bloom uh, which is a product from thompson and morgan and it is actually really handy because they're just granules and you just fire them in the top of the pot and then every time you water they will fertilize the, the plant a little bit each time so I don't have to worry about it that's what I like about them and it produces very very good results whenever I use them the plants look very happy and healthy so that's what I'm going to put in in the top of this one uh, when I repot it but I think it just needs a refresh really nothing major just give it a bit of extra soil where it can hold on to the the moisture a little bit longer and it should be fine but let's open it up have a look at what's going on and uh, we'll take it from there. Alrighty, let's see what we can see in here. So there is a, a pot in here. Put that to one side for now. There's a mass of, of leaves, but Mm. Soil doesn't feel particularly good. Um, let's see if we can have a look. Mm. It was very compacted. Quite, uh, oh yeah. Oh, it doesn't want to come out the pot. That is very compacted for some reason. I think it might be the roots are sticking it in there. Using my trusty harvest knife, always used for, for gardening tasks. Link down below if you want one. Mm. 
Oh boy, that doesn't feel good. There we are. That's got it going. <laughs> yep. That's pretty, pretty root bound. Ah, that's interesting. Why is there a... Oh, I see. I'm trying to work out why there's a, a plastic tray at the bottom, but this is a... Um, this is a pot with holes in it, so uh, I've obviously put a tray at the bottom of it to catch any water coming down, and the roots have grown around the tray. Yeah, I mean, that is absolutely full of roots. So this is our problem. It's a shame because I don't really want to put it in a different pot. I might have to divide it. A little bit. <laughs> there we go. That's what I had it in like that. So let me see if I can give you a close up. Yeah. That is fairly root bound. Now, like I said, these plants do tolerate it very well, but. Um, Still, I can hardly see any soil now, so we do have an issue. Um, really know what to do for the best because it just needs a bigger pot. I don't really want to put it in a bigger pot. Hmm. Oh, it's so tight. I mean, there's not even any, there's not much soil to take out which is why it's drying out so quickly. It's just a mass of roots and nothing else. So it's not, it's not staying hydrated enough. Don't know what to do for the best, to be honest. I mean, we can physically slice it down and each part will have some root. It's going to be the only way going to have to cut the rhizome and the root at the same time. There we are. There's some soil in the middle. It's just all run around the root, uh, around the edge. There we go. So that's come apart quite easily, actually. Now what are we going to do? Try and put half of it back and see if it will fill out. There's plenty of roots. This one's a bit bigger, a bit fuller. That's not too bad actually. That will probably flow over quite nicely. Let's give that a go. See how it looks there. The root structure is very good, although dry. There's plenty of root there to carry on. I've got some, some new soil here. Let's see. This is just normal uh, potting soil. Uh, with a lot of perlite in it and I've put a little bit of um, topsoil in it as well just to retain a bit more water because it was drying out quite quickly so standard houseplant potting soil additional perlite and topsoil so let's move this over here so you see what we're doing it's going to put the soil down both sides might take a little while to recover, but these are so hardy, these uh, spider plants. As long as they've got roots, some soil and some water, they'll be all right. Just getting rid of a few of the old dead leaves while I'm here. Smarten it up a little bit. Just pushing the soil down the sides, making sure we get the soil all the way around the roots. We don't want any air pockets where there isn't any soil in contact with the surface area of the roots. 
So just a little poke down. You can use something like a, a garden cane or a chopping stick just to work it down the side to make sure that the soil gets everywhere. Okay, so that's a, another, another plant coming through there. This is the trouble. Uh, as they grow, you just get more and more plants growing in the pot, which means more and more roots. And, you know, it's been there a couple of years, so this is what happens. You need to give it a bit of maintenance sometimes. And spider plants are propagated by division, so effectively we've just propagated this plant and divided the new sections that have grown and put it back with half the amount of plant there. Now this is going to need doing again as it grows again, but now there is far, far more soil in here. It's a better water attentive mix. So I think for maybe the next year or 18 months, it's going to be fine. It's got plenty of soil to grow into. So I think it's going to be fine. And then we'll have to decide what we do then. Might have to divide it again and make it even smaller. All right, give it some fertilizing granules on the surface. Just like to work a few of them just under the surface of the soil. Don't need too many. It comes with a scoop, so you can use that as a measurement. I think that should do it. It's a lovely afternoon here today in Suffolk. We've had um, thunderstorms today but the sun's come out now and it's really hot and it's evaporating all the um, all the rainwater it's that lovely humid feel and we're going to sit in the garden after I've done this now just need to kind of bring the leaves back so it sort of looks about right but it's probably going to have a bit of a bad hair day before it sorts itself out and gets the roots going again. Um, should be all right in a week or so. And the leaves will slowly find their own place as the, they will grow to the light and pick themselves up. So let's see where we're at. Not too bad. Can go that way. I can go that way. No, I think that's the best of a difficult situation, to be honest with you. I think it will brighten it up considerably. Now it's got the, the room to grow again. And it will pick up in a few days and look a lot happier. So let's put it back in the basket. Easier said than done. Oh, this is awkward. Need three hands, really. There we go. That is pretty good. Too bad actually 
so it's all sort of flattened at the moment it's all sort of sitting down but with a bit of water and a bit of light and a bit of time it will pick right up again oops that's a casualty it's a healthy looking leaf to be honest with you it's okay it's just lacking a bit of vigor i think it'll be fine there we go this is the spider plant repot i think it will be fine but if you have a spider plant that's not looking too happy just remember are you watering it once a week when it needs you know fill the soil i shouldn't say once a week it's very difficult to say that um, these sort of plants will tolerate probably watering it once a week but fill the soil is it moist is there any wetness in the soil if not make sure you water it keep checking it and find how quickly it dries out and if it dries out once a week water it once a week if it takes two weeks to dry out water it every two weeks but keep an eye on it keep it watered give it plenty of sun nice bright conditions and give it a bit of fertilizer in the growing season and it should be pretty happy to be honest with you very easy to look after and very nice things to have so that's it for this video i hope you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you had and i will catch you very soon on another video bye for now